Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Nerdy O Wednesday. Um, so yeah, as, as you've probably seen the last few weeks, every Wednesday, um, I've done this for a few months now, um, and just, just kind of dedicating Wednesdays to Nerdy O, specifically enemy Nerdy O, Mario Friend Surprise. But more recently I thought, you know what, I'll do a little on the shit before Christmas around uh, my own personal top 10 enemy features. So I've already done two uh previous weeks where um well again this is in no particular order but um the first one in my top 10 was the auto scaling intelligent auto scaling in enemy and then kind of uh, an add-on to that i suppose well, it's a feature of that but I, I kind of i still put it as a different feature in, in video two was around the auto heal function so th this feature is it's part of scale you know the auto scaling we have to actually still enable it so even if you do enable auto scaling, the intelligent auto scaling, it's not enabled as part of that. So even though it's configured in that, and anyway, I went through that benefits of it, how you can install it and configure it. Um, so this week, I am moving on to my third um, enemy feature in my top ten. Um, so it's jumping to, and it's actually going to be the the Intune um, integration. Let's say right, um, very very powerful. Um, you know, give you again in in this landscape at the moment. If you look at the, the sort of EUC landscape, right, um, a lot of organizations are moving from that traditional on-premises management, normally SCCM, uh, especially for, for end-user devices. Now, you know, a lot more organizations are starting to use AVD, Windows 365, Cloud PC, things like that. Um, that Cloud VDI is forcing people to, to, to kind of migrate into Intune. So, <clears throat> again, for, for Nerdio to, to stay relevant in that area, um, they, they had to, right? They had to, they're already so ingrained in that Microsoft ecosystem. It made sense. <clears throat> so that's where I feel is, is another feature that I, I, again, really think is powerful. Uh, straight away, so, so in the health and insights, you can see there's an Intune section, uh, which, in, in again, insights token has failed to load. Do you wonder why that is? Um, probably just my integration. So, okay, there's normally... <laughs> Oh, a bit embarrassing. Anyway, there's normally <clears throat> some Intune information there from an insights perspective, right? But if we go down into settings and environment, <clears throat> when we go to Azure, um, I'm sorry, uh, the integration section, sorry, this is where you can actually turn it on. I, I've gone through this already in a previous video, but I just want to quickly show it. You configure it here, you integrate it, blah, blah, blah. What I wanted to show is the actual, the, the actual integration from a, a management perspective. So... Again, you need to go to endpoints, and this is where, again, the policy management, policy reports, these are all Intune based, right? Um, and if you just go to an, a, a device, for example, we'll just go to my, this is a cloud PC, so it's a Windows 55. And straight away here, you know, we can see, give an overview of, this is all information from, from Intune, by the way. Um, what's the compliance level of it? So it's got some applications that aren't compliant. What policies does it adhere to? Straight away, I'll tell you. Um, there, it's report only in the Windows 35 demo policy, but it's deploy the it's enable the Windows 35 PC app to demo. These are all policies I've assigned to it for demo purposes, right? But my point is, these are still applied. From an updates perspective, it'll give you, you know, um, information. So I'm not doing any patching on here, right? But it gives you information on that. So information around the applications that are on the. So this is a device scope, by the way. C7 Zip, Google Chrome. These are both um, not in a healthy state. And then we move on to the any scripts that are part of this property is no. What's the user experience? Then it goes into endpoint analytics. Straight away you can see it's got into that. Like, so definitely this is all the stuff you see in Intune, right? Um, this is this is endpoint analytics basically. Startup performance, application liability, work from anywhere score. And from hardware, obviously this is a virtual device, right? But it tells us the OS, the version, the system language, it's enterprise OS, total storage, etc. Also, forget from Intune. This is a cool one, the recovery key. So, if you're using BitLocker, this is where the BitLocker key will be stored. From an antivirus perspective, again, you can actually, if you have it installed um, or deployed, and you can you can update with, and, and do quick scans, full scans, update Windows Defender as well from here. It tells you the outstanding actions on the device, and then it tells you the connectivity status as well. So, these are all the health checks um, from a network perspective that you do on the the again, all available from Intune. But the point is that in itself is is really really powerful, uh, and then it comes to the actual policy management. So again, 
You can see here all the uh, compliance policy, the configuration policies, the security baselines, conditional access policies, Intune app policies, straight away you look, this is definitely Intune. Windows update policies as well. Um, so again, just, just a total integration with Intune. So again, with those, for those organizations that have transitioned to Intune, they're thinking about, you know what, we want to manage, we want some, a platform that can manage AVD and Windows 365 Cloud, you know, our Cloud VDI. Um, again, don't get me wrong, nerdy your manager for enterprise can integrate with SCCM, but especially if you transition to that VDI, you know, cloud first sort of approach, then this is this is a great feature for me. So this is going to be number three. Well, it's not, again, I am going to do, what I'll do is the last episode, I will rate them and I'll do my top 10 in order. Um, but for now, I just want to say my, my third sort of top 10 that I want to talk about was the Intune integration with Nerdio Enterprise, or Nerdio Manager for Enterprise LME. So hopefully you are uh, enjoying it. Again, <clears throat> give me some information about what, what your top 10 top 10 list is like um, from an intro you know from a from a sorry enemy perspective what your top 10 features i'm really interested to hear back from people um so hopefully you're enjoying this hopefully you're, you're, you're learning a little bit as well uh, got some loads, loads of useful links in my in the description i'll, I'll put the links to the integration for enemy and intune in the description a link to my exam topics you know you know all about them my microsoft exam topics kind of members only stuff that i do but also uh, my linkedin profile as well please do connect with me and, and reach out to me so thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.